There we go. I did it again. I'm used to looking at the camera right here. Sometimes I flip it over there. And I flip it over there. I don't know where to look. So anyway, it's March 5th and the previous video, you guys saw me get Haas set up and it was, uh, it was great. It's uh, the day after, so he went one night. Um, no problems, no issues. He was trained to a white wire at the farm he was uh, weaned at. Mama's getting her back scratch on the fence and rocking the boat pretty hard. There's Mr. Haas. This piglet fence, you can see, is white, so it's perfect for him. Now, the reason I did this, this fence is way more manageable for pigs, okay? Uh, he doesn't need the four foot green fence. Pigs can't jump, they can't fly. Two foot, it's perfect, two feet high. But it's a lot more manageable, especially when you have a pig like a, an American guinea hog because they love to forage, love it. The, the green fence by Premier was not made to move like I'm gonna move this hog. This piglet fence is made to be moved around through the brush it works great for me. It's got the single spike, so it goes right in this rocky soil out here. I'm gonna move him today, but I've gotta get this green one out of the way first. So that's what I'm gonna do. You're gonna see a time lapse. Not much of me talking. I know you're disappointed. Now it might take me a minute because that old car that I talked about in the previous video, it used to sit right there, right there. That was way off. I mean, the thing sat there for 30 years. If there was anything, you know, there was no broken glass or nothing like that, but I did notice the guys that moved it cut the brake calipers off because they were seized. So the brake calipers are just laying in the dirt over there. Appreciate it. You know, animals are very smart. If you want my opinion and the research and the reading I've done, they know what gives them scours or diarrhea. When they get used to good grain and good food and, you know, things that make them feel good, they don't eat things that they know are gonna make them not feel good or uncomfortable as long as we keep him on fresh grass you know you eat what you can find and that's the same for animals you know if i didn't move him to a different paddock if i didn't uh, make sure he had fresh food and water every day he has to find something to eat and it may not always be the best for him but he's got to eat we just want to uh encourage foraging and make sure he's got good fresh food and water to eat every day so anyway i'll uh, set you guys up spin you around here and we'll get going air so Hey, hey, what are you doing? We get it, you're the hide and seek champ. You're Captain Peekaboo. You gonna come say hi? I've got treats. Not happening. Well, one of these days, lady, I'm gonna bring Django out here, your new boyfriend, and you're gonna have to get along with people and goats, he's not people. He thinks he is. All right. Soon enough, though, it's happening. You got to tell her, Mom. It's happening. Got to get out of that bubble. gonna give him some food to distract him that is the nice thing about pigs and or me but you can see where the box is right there and that orange clip that's where the fence actually connects so I gotta disconnect those two and shift him that way I don't believe in luck because everything happens for a reason but it should turn out all right he should be distracted by the food but he may decide that he wants to really free range One thing I've noticed right away is that where he's been, the ground is extremely soft. Makes sense, I mean, that's why people use them. But Haas does know something's up and he feels very confined. So I'm trying to move diligently and make sure there's at least a physical barrier that he sees uh, while I'm moving this. So keep going.
All right, that timestamp, that took me 20 minutes. Now, I've got a lot of stuff to get around here. I always try and include one tree because uh, that's where he's gonna find the most grubs and things he wants to eat. So, but that's where they drug that car through when they pulled it out of here. So that's kind of tilled up for him already. There's probably some good stuff in there. So, plus this has the most vegetation over it even though there's nothing green on the trees yet. So the soil is really rich. But you could see, even as I was moving it, he could smell that fresh grass. I mean, there's no food over here. No feed, I should say. No grain. He's uh, one happy pig. I'm going to show you guys real quick how to set up the, uh, how to charge it with the, uh, I've got the 60, I think there's a 30, a 60, and a 120. And I've got the 60 solar charger from Premier. So I'm going to set that up real quick and, you know, I should probably hurry before he touches that fence and test me on it. All right, like I said, this is the 60, all right? And the most important thing is getting a good ground, and that's what this is. Uh, I believe the 120 comes with a grounding rod. So this is just a grounding spike, and you wanna jam it into the ground and take into account where the sun is. Now, right now there's a shadow here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but it's nine o'clock in the morning. Shadow's not gonna be there very long. Shove that in the ground. You might have to stomp on it, hit it with a hammer, what have you. And there's a groove here on the bottom that it slides into. Pull it up a little bit. And then it's actually, it locks into place. You can tip this and tilt it however you want. I uh, need to tip mine, but I didn't bring pliers. But you just loosen up two bolts on either side and you can drop it into either one of these prefixed uh, ranges here. Uh, angles, I should say. So anyway, orange one goes to the fence, okay? I know the difference between positive and negative, but I'm, I'm being simple here, so. So there's a clip on each fence. And I always click the top one to the bottom, or top to top, bottom to bottom. Look what my man's doing right here. It's fresh ground. He's on the trail, he's on the hunt for something. How cool is that? How cool is that? these clips I was talking about. Here's a trick too. If, the, if you feel kind of a little loose, maybe a little bit saggy, something like that, not you, the fence. If you uh, feel that there may not be enough tightness to the fence, get these spikes as close as you can to each other. And then I take a loop from one of them. There's actually these spots on top where you can kind of make them a little tighter. Take up a little bit more slack. So you can actually do the same thing with both of them if you want it. And frame here, Chad. There, how about that? It takes the sag out of my net a little bit, and it's not sagging right here. Just there you go. See how that tightened that up? I'm gonna put that back in there. Orange goes to your fence. Make sure your system's off. Yeah. Black. You actually connect to your ground spike. Now I always pull a little dirt away from there. Make sure it's on there real good. Then you got your on button. And let's see if we can. Now we know it's working. And I can hear the fence popping a little bit, so I know something's affecting it. So. Gotta make sure you get yourself one of these. Now it's reading at 8,000. Let's try something here. It's anywhere. All right. For total transparency, I want you guys to see what was causing it. Cause I wasn't paying attention. 
and this is the sheep and goat fence we took down and it's touching so like i mentioned i know i mentioned in yesterday's video or at least the previous one for the pigs your fence has to be at least two inches from any metal and obviously since that's a premier fence it's got the metal in it so that's why i was popping got anything to say All right, sounds good. All right, let's see if she pops now. Nope. So what you guys are hearing is this popping, and that's okay. It pops every time it blinks green, so that way we know it's working. Okay. But what I was hearing was feedback from the other premier fence over there on the other side. So, what you think, buddy? It's hot, brother. Don't do it. Don't do it. That a boy. There you go. Top light. Well, actually, everything from right about here that way is fresh and that's more than two-thirds of the of the fence first off if you're new here i sincerely appreciate it appreciate you stopping by and you know we're not going anywhere i know we're a young channel but my boys and I are having so much fun doing this and you guys are the reason. You know, the ones that comment on every video, it just means a lot to us, you know, it's, it's just really cool. So, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm Chad, this is Adler Farms. My boys are Case and Adler. These are the type of videos we're gonna do. It's always gonna be good, clean, family fun. What I like the most is I watched a uh, live chat last night and I would encourage you guys to go look for this dude. If you, if you don't know who he is, this is your first time on YouTube ever. Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. Let's have some fun. Woo! I'm a channel member there. Uh, it's like five bucks a month. You get some perks to that, early releases and such. And You know, there is value in that. There's, there really is. Josh mentioned it when I chatted something to him. I get to keep record of this with my boys. Think we can put some animals in there? Does look like a lot of work? Look like a lot of work. What kind of animals are we gonna get? We got goats and chickens. What else you want? Emus. Emus. Yeah. Oh man. Bring big eggs like this size. Okay. What else? Not on my boots. You know they're they're gonna see this. They're gonna see this for forever. As a dad, that's awesome. <laughs> But just having these videos and how we all got started here and what's going on in my life on March 5th, 2020, you know, it's just really cool. It's cool. It's going to be good to look back at and see how far we've come. And, man, I think this is like my 20th video. And uh, <laughs> when I go back and watch, not necessarily the first one, but the second or third and some of the others, I'm like, golly. You know, but it's just amazing how much and how fast you can learn. And 